Hey guys, so barn doors have become pretty popular as of late. I'm not sure if they're a fad or not, but they can be pretty cool. Um, this particular model is from Rustic Hardware and it's made here in the U.S. And uh, here in Utah actually. And um, it's a pretty nice one. I want to show you a couple things about it before to kind of give you an idea of whether or not you should use a barn door in a specific application that you're doing. So this one in particular, like I said, it's a higher end one. It slides really nice. It's got a guide down on the floor to keep it uh, on track. And then it's got uh, nice stops on each end. Um, I'll show you right here. There's some glare from that light. There we go. Rustic hardware. So that's kind of nice. Um, it's kind of cool on each of the edges. It's kind of got the bronze. They left the uh, markings there from the welding and stuff. One thing I will say though, this is not a cheap door. These are about 900 bucks at Home Depot. And it's kind of crazy because that rail is all nice and oiled uh, steel and the top brackets are oiled steel. And then you've got this finished patina on the frame and patina wood. The thing that bothers me is I wish for the money. Um, see those bolts that go through the rail uh, there and then the hardware here are all just silver. They're not anything special. And for that kind of money, I would think that those would be matching the rest of it. Also down here on the handle, all they give you is just a couple screws uh, that are just silver as well. So I do like this door. It's, it's good quality, but I wish for the money that they would address those things. Um, but the biggest thing I have is on a barn door, like I said, I see them a lot on remodel shows and things like that. So again, I'm not sure if they're a fad. But they do kind of are kind of nice. They do save some space if you've got some small rooms because you don't have the door that swings into them. So that's a nice feature too. And then they look really nice just kind of um, accenting the room. This room isn't done yet, so it's kind of hard. But there's, you know, it's better than just a plain old door. This one's on a bathroom in a master suite, which it lends itself pretty good um, to that function. The problem runs into this. Um, if you were using it on a bedroom or a bathroom that was not a master suite, the door doesn't really have a seal. So you can still, you know, kind of see through the edges. Um, so that's not the greatest if it's not in a master scenario. And the other thing is, there's no handle on the inside. So you have to either put a handle that doesn't stick out too far, or you just have to reach in and grab that edge and then push it open. So just a couple things to consider if you see pictures of like the barn doors or something in the magazine that you like, things to take into consideration. Uh, for closets and like I said, a bathroom and a master suite, it's not a bad idea, but if it's the main bathroom in your house and you wanna be able to latch the door or something like that, it would be possible to put a lock on it from the inside. Um, it would actually be fairly easy to just put a, a bolt right here so that then when the door tries to open it hits it. So you can put a lock on it without actually um, changing the door and you could put a small knob or something on there as well um, to remedy that situation. But you're still gonna have kind of a gap right here in where the door closes. So it doesn't meet everything that you would want in a door for every situation.